We have just been nonstop busy, extended store hours, tons of online orders. You have a good day. Counting down the days to the Cotton Bowl, and fans are getting geared up for the Bearcats at Du Bois Bookstore. Operations manager Ty Bonowitz says as soon as they put out new stuff, it's gone, and they restock again. The biggest problem we're having right now is the cotton shortage that we're dealing with, um, but which is kind of ironic, going to the Cotton Bowl. Even the dogs are rooting on these cats, and people say they're making a mad dash to get ready for Texas. Roll Tide, cool, but nah, they ain't cool for us. We got to beat them. We got to beat them. <laughs> Fans have a hearty appetite to see undefeated UC conquer in this historic appearance in the college football playoffs. Over at Mio's, Rich Owens knows the team does too. They fed them just yesterday. We had a whiteboard that we had every player on the team sign, and then we're going to laminate it. And we're going to. We haven't titled it yet. We're going to hope we can put national champs on it. It's a moment in Bearcat history that will stick with the kids. And as the sun went down tonight, a bit of an incognito pep rally to light up Nippert Stadium. <laughs> Fireworks, a drone show with messages to root on the team. The programming that went into it and the messages up in the sky, they were really neat. Oh! And the signature chance to let Alabama know UC means business. I was excited. I was actually up there and he can vouch for me. I was jumping up and down. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> and the excitement really does continue throughout the community. It's really a shared experience. And you see the kids uh, in that story that we worked on tonight. Even they are so excited about this historic moment. I talked with some people who say that they're headed down to Texas. Some are staying as far as two hours away, but they're getting just close enough so that they can drive in. And even local businesses here say that they're still expecting a great turnout. Reporting live at Nippert Stadium, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. I